This year's Spring Racing Carnival now feels that little bit closer following the release of nominations for some of the headline events on the biggest carnival on the Australian racing calendar. Mooney Valley played host to the announcement which unveiled those in the running to contest its signature event, the $3 million sporting bet Cox Plate on October 25, along with those who paid up for the previous week's $3 million Caulfield Cup. The response has been extraordinary for both the, the sporting bet Cox Plate, uh, the Caulfield Cup, and both the Becks Guineas and the 1,000 Guineas at Caulfield. Uh, the, the response from the international stables has been e extraordinary. Um, record noms for both the Caulfield Cup and the Cox Plate. Record numbers were received both locally and internationally, with the strength of entries leaving club chiefs ecstatic. It's very competitive, but to see 29 nominations uh, come through today, including four of those that received the invitations, it just goes to show that the Sporting Bet Cox Plate is growing its international profile. It's been a year that we really focused on working uh, with, with Lee and, and Racing Victoria, as well as continuing to bolster our own racing team at the Melbourne Racing Club. And, and I think the, uh, the number of nominations across all our races and, and the quality, as well as the, uh, the Northern Hemisphere horses, have all been a, a, a positive. International interest went up a level with both the Caulfield Cup and Cox Plate, more than doubling their international entries on last year. There's a real focus on Australia in my trips this year, and there's no doubt, especially in Europe, uh, Hong Kong's a key market for them, but there's no doubt that Australia now is becoming a key market for Europe. Nominations were also taken for both the Caulfield Guineas and 1,000 Guineas, with entries also up on 2013. First acceptances for all four races will be taken on September 9.